Bring your hands together at the center of your chest and let's inhale for three ohms. For those of you who are joining us, ah, we're going to get into our first song, and um, please just uh, little f share a little feedback if um, how the audio is, okay? If there's anything that needs to get turned up, turned down, or if it sounds great, let us know, okay? Here we go. We're going to start this. Altar of love. 
to the uh, technology here and just trying to get up to date. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm going to check to see how things are doing in the uh, YouTube world on your end. Let's see here. Five people watching, that's good. And where are the comments at? That was a good start. It's a good start. Um, <laughs> I don't see anybody commenting. Can we get some comments, y'all, to just uh, let us know how it's sounding out there? Oh, I see. It's on the right-hand side for some reason. Okay, there we go. Um, I can't find volume. So it seems like, okay, I'm getting good sound. Everybody's saying sounds good. Sounds great. Okay, good. Yay. Okay. Looks like we're on a roll now. Lots of echo, huh? Too much reverb? <laughs> you know, we do like a lot of reverb. <laughs>
regard you such, I be such, nanika ho se be such.
of none. Mm. Truth is my identity. Day, day, day. All right. I love it. It's starting to sound real right, right, huh? <laughs> All right. I just took a little bit more gray hairs on my scalp, but uh, we got this going. All right. I'm um, just going to check one more time here. To, uh, if you guys want to give me a little feedback on how the harmonium sounds, because um, it's a little hard with the the loud acoustic instruments and how it's sounding on your all ends. So if you could let me know how that harmonium is sounding, you're like all our sound engineers right now. I've heard I need to talk louder when I'm asking talking here. I think. <laughs> Uh, okay, bass is dominant, so I guess we need to turn the bass down, looks like, a little bit. He's like, whoever said that comment, take that down. <laughs> it's good, okay, good, good. So, here's the deal, you can comment, but you just can't talk about Richard's bass. <laughs> so we're joined by the yeah, wonderful Richard Cole here on bass. And uh, it's just a pleasure to have him here with us, and he's been touring with us for many years now, and it's uh, always such an honor to have him here. So, okay, let's see. Mix is good. It's good. Um, it's okay. Harmonia, harmonia may be a little low. Wow. Harmonia could be louder. Wow. Someone says, I like the dominant bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then one says, more bass. Oh, oh man. All right, well. Depends <laughs> on the system you're listening on, I think, <laughs> too. <laughs> All right, we got a mixture of harmonium could be up a little bit. Sounds good. So just FYI, the harmonium should be pretty subtle. It shouldn't be very prominent. That's the way we typically like it. So yeah, it sounds like bass may be just a little loud. So you adjusted that, Richard? Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So um, it seems like we're pretty much at home right now. Are we? Are we getting any rich? Because um, we keep it pretty much. No, but it's on the on the previous video. There's it's pinned to the top. There's a link at the top of the comments. Okay, so we'll go into that. Yeah. Okay. And I need um. There's a my computer charger right there. This computer's gonna die here really soon. Good thing Mercury went direct. <laughs> Next time it'll be like butter. It'll just be like butter. <laughs> Getting it, I'm getting it down here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's turn down the volume. We'll just do some classics first and then we'll go into the some new stuff. Does that sound good? that sounds good, just go ahead and just holler out, yeah! Woohoo! Honey bowl! So, you know, we're, uh, we're working on a new album. It's in the works, and it's, uh, it's going to be a follow-up to the Saraswati Dreams um, album. So it's going to be called Lakshmi Dreams. Very nice. <laughs> and, uh, and so maybe we'll play a couple songs off of that tonight, okay? But for now, a classic.
I'm going to do the title track of my new album, Servants of Love. Just uh, feel inspired to do that right now. So. Let's see, just have to make sure.
stars in the night, we are light, we are light. The stars in the night, we are light, we are light. As the wind upon the sea, we are free. Servants of love from below and above, we are the servants of love. Adiyon, Jai Jai Sitaram, Jai Hanuman. So amazing just to feel this this connection with everyone <laughs> in the ethers. Oh. In the ethers. <laughs> yeah. All around the world. It's like a miracle, you know. So thank you for joining us and just yeah, feel our hearts connecting. Yeah. It's instantaneous, right? Heart connections are even faster than the speed of light. I have been missing this guitar. Haven't played it for six months. So it's nice to be back to try this out. It's a beautiful Taylor acoustic electric. Let's see how it sounds. Oh, does it sound like anything? Uh-oh. <laughs> Sun is setting here. We have a beautiful view out the win of the windows there of the Siskiyou, Siskiyou Mountains, right near Ashland, Medford Ashland. Beautiful place, beautiful earth here.
just fits. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hari, <laughs> 
give it a shout out. Because reggae music's always been about lifting the vibe up, bringing the positive, spirited message. That's why so many have been called to the reggae. upward and downward flowing energies in the body. And to Hari, Hari Har, these creative energies, creative principles within us and all around us, just aligning, just calling for alignment. Just a little bit of alignment issues right now. So uh, we're calling that in, calling that in to just, to be in that place and, and really to align a place of open heartedness to the best of our ability. Yes. So I'm going to share the song that's on the new album, Servants of Love, and this song came through uh, a few years ago, and I just right outside of Sedona in the desert there, on the beautiful red rocks, and um, I've gotten a lot of comments on this song from people that um, it's, it's helped them on their path. And I'm so happy to hear that because it, it sure helped me. It was one of these songs that just kind of came and I caught it. I caught the whole song and I just went back to my, um, my little house where I was staying and I just wrote it down and it just came. Sometimes songs come like that and it's really special because sometimes they take years to write, <laughs> you know, or to just get just right. But this one just came from spirit, so... It was, um, it's a medicine song, and um, I like to share it because, uh, you know, these, these are strange times we're in right now, so it's good to have medicine, good to have spirit medicine for us.
go where the winds of life will blow across the sky spirit will show me how to spread my wings and rise up with the light grandmother grandfather creator please hear my prayer eternal ancient wisdom your essence is everywhere guiding Cycles 
favorite song, apparently. Oh. It's a good jam out. And a good, uh, just some healing balm for the, the soul. Here's another healing balm for the soul kind of song. I think that's kind of what we write. We just try to write those songs that either uplift or create a little healing, a little upliftment, taking as the yogis say, the, the poison into nectar, ignorance into awareness, growth. So here's a song for that.
song came through for times just like these, the season of change, and really that's just all we got here on planet Earth and the entire universe, change, just constant change, constant adapting to what the consciousness will have us do, we either thrive or we dive. <laughs> so, as yogis, we are constantly working and adapting to the times so that we can constantly be thriving no matter what takes place. No matter what takes place, we, we thrive. So, do your best. We're all doing our best to try to do that, to thrive in these ever-changing times. <laughs> <laughs> 
sometimes more drastic than others. So yeah. song off the upcoming album. Like we were, I was saying earlier that um, we're working on a new album to come out and we were hoping, hopefully, hoping that it was going to come out September. We'll see what happens. It's a little, that's a little uh, hyper ambitious. So maybe it'll be more like October, November. And um, so it's going to be a follow-up album to the uh, Satisfati Dreams that we came out with in 2014. And so stay tuned for that one. This one is to Durga. So the goddess Durga, she's a, an invincible warrioress um, who has created, or you know, there's many different stories. So <laughs> some say that she is the absolute creatress. And, uh, but in this, one of these stories, she was created to um, subdue or um, defeat a demon on the earth that had gotten way out of control and was just destroying things left and right and, um, you know, just a, a cruel um, Asura. And invincible, no one could beat him. And uh, he had a little contract with the gods that said no man could ever kill him. It's kind of like the fine print, and they figured out that the contract said, didn't say that a woman couldn't kill him. So Durga was called into manifestation, and she has all the powers of Lakshmi, Kali, um, Saraswati. She's powerful, beautiful, and very, very dangerous, lethal. <laughs> But for the good, for the benefit of all beings. So, um, yeah, it's a very powerful mantra for this time. I know that um, Ama, Amachi, the, the hubby mother, sweet mother, Ama, she just actually had a calling for all of her followers to be chanting uh, Durga mantras right now. So I think it's just, uh, it's in the current now to call forth that powerful feminine uh, force that um, acts for the good of all, for the good of all beings, with very powerful, fierce uh, energy. <laughs> so the mantra is Om Aim Prim Krim Chamunda Viche. Om Aim Krim Krim. Chamunda ye viche, viche. And then we'll sing Om Dum Durga ye Namaha. Om Dum Durga ye Namaha. And we'll probably sing a few other uh, names as the, the song progresses.
I always like telling the story of a, one time I was in Vrindavan, India, and we were driving out of town, and I looked over in some fields, and I kind of like rubbed my eyes like, what? Is that for real? Like, am I really seeing this? Yes, that is a statue that's about 60, 70 feet tall of Durga in the middle of a, a wheat field riding a, a lion. <laughs> Only in India. So may she come alive and come to you know, protect the good and help all beings into awakening to love, awakening to our own power. There's a new one and we're, we're, we were supposed to rehearse, but instead we were doing technical difficulties with the, uh, the live stream. <laughs> we were going to get a nice video for you guys and all this good stuff, and that just didn't work out. So we're just streaming from the lovely computer camera here and keeping it simple. But uh, sometimes simple is good because it just actually works. <laughs> so yeah, it was, uh, it was one of those experiences. to make it harder for her. Okay. Yeah, he likes to do that. So this is a new one. And this is a uh, beautiful uh, love song to Hanuman Ji. So this is the Hanuman Chalisa. And there'll be uh, this one and actually another version on the new album. And um, I, I just love this version. So I'm really excited to share it with you all. And, and let's just drop in. If you know it, um, please sing along. If you don't know it, you can... Google uh, the lyrics and look up Hanuman Chalisa and then you could try to sing along or just uh, look at the lyrics with us. But maybe the best thing would just to be to sit and feel the music.
is there to remind us that uh, anything and everything is possible and for love anything is possible for true love for devotion Hanuman in the Ramayana is the great devotee of Sita and Ram who represents the noble virtuous qualities of the masculine the feminine the man and the woman and the virtuous and so he's as the story progresses he's remembering his superpowers and this is very much like us as we progress and awaken in our consciousness we remember and realize our powers and we realize our truth deeper and deeper and deeper and ultimately we are realizing that we are here to serve the beloved, the beloved, to serve the divine love between the great supreme consciousness and the individualized expression of the soul. And that's the great love affair. And what you call the devotee to God, to God to the devotee, that great love affair that's constantly taking place. Whether it's for you, it's the divine mother, or it's the divine father, or it's the formless or the form, whether it's in the form of an avatar, or spiritual teacher, this, or a, a beloved, <laughs> you know, in the physical form and in the, and in the formless, that's the, the constant teaching that we are realizing ourselves, realizing our truth, and the interconnectedness of it, and that love, love is the fabric of all of this. Yeah, so Hanuman reminds us to rest in that love, rest in that place of knowing that whether we're in form or not in form, that what we're being held by is love. The whole fabric of all creation, manifested, unmanifested, love. And that exploration is also the exploration of what is love. What is love? So all this is, is Hanuman's journey. All this is the yogi's journey. All this is every soul's journey. To discover love, to discover consciousness, to discover God. All different names for the same thing. Exploration and awakening. And it never ends. Never ever ends. It 
I'll make it more better. More better. <laughs> yes. So we sing Jai Hanuman. Jai Hanuman. Kripa Karahu Guru Deva Kinahi. Means Jai. Praises to Hanuman, who is my guru, who is my great teacher. The one who reminds me of all this. <laughs> Jai Hanuman. Jai Hanuman. I can move mountains with the spirit of Hanuman. Yes. Alright, I felt inspired to share this beautiful Kundalini mantra. It's about finding the beloved within.
We started later, as it usually goes with music and musicians. <laughs> so the sun has set. The sun has set. Hmm. Depending on where you are now, it might have set a long time ago. <laughs> but, uh, hmm. The days are getting shorter.
Looking 
I feel like so much of this time right now is about uh, recentering ourselves. Um, because so many of us are faced with uh, big changes and challenges of various kinds and uh, you know limitations of certain kinds. <laughs> Although I know I know there are a lot of us who also actually, I mean, we're having, a lot of people are having a really good time, really wonderful time right now, because just connecting in deeper with ourselves and finding a little more peace, you know, we're out of all of this kind of uh, the flurry of going and going and the activities. Um, so this is an opportunity for us to yeah, just go deeper in ourselves and really, really connect with our beloved. And this is one of the great lessons of, of existence is you know, to find that beauty, that peace, that love, that eternal love inside of our own hearts and find that fulfillment. As much as we thrive with community and, and friends and family, it's, uh, it's very important, it's very key for us to, to have these experiences and connecting with him um, through meditation, through music, through hiking. I mean, I just keep meeting so many people who are just hiking, 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 <laughs> going out, out into the rocks, out into the forests and the mountains and the water. So many people going to lakes and rivers and finding the nourishment of the mother and having her heal, heal us and help us heal others. Um, through healing ourselves and finding that deep center of peace with him. So that being said, I think that's, uh, yeah, 
I feel that when I sing that song, the, the, um, that kind of, that anthem song of the mantra of, you know, I have everything I need to feel free to, to be, or feel however that goes, feel free to mm -hmm. be who I really am, <laughs> to feel free to be who I really am, to discover who I really am. And it's sometimes it's so, I mean, if we're on the path of discovery and self-discovery, it's, it's pretty mind-blowing <laughs> because our self is revealed, the divine is revealed continually in our souls, unfolding, and it's just so much more beyond our comprehension than we ever thought, mm -hmm. discovering the infinite self. So... Let's bring our palms together, and we'll, we'll seal the pr these prayers and give thanks with three ohms and one long satnam. So inhale deeply. Blessings to all, peace to all, love to all. May you all be well, live in health, happiness, and love. Ayom Tatsat. Ayom Tatsat. Wow, everybody. Thank you so, so much for joining us. It really touches our hearts to see all of you joining in and... and bringing in those donations and supporting us at this time. And I know so many of us are um, either thriving or <laughs> can be financially struggling at this time. So we really feel um, feel touched to just be able to offer this and hopefully offer a little bit of upliftment for those who need it and, and just extra juice for those who are thriving and, and to keep thriving and sharing your gifts and sharing your light and love. I um, want to thank... Big thanks to Richard Cole here for joining us tonight in base. It was so nice, brother man. It's been it's like it's been way too long, obviously. Nine months. Yeah, nine months. Wow. So it's just so wonderful to play with him again. We played with Richard for years and years now and gone tours and it's just been always such a delight. I want a special thanks to my parents for hosting <laughs> this live stream here at their beautiful home and their uh, upstairs, watching it from upstairs because it's a little awkward to watch it <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> little time gaps, you're not really hearing the music fully unless you uh, have like headphones or hearing it through speakers. So um, it's always such a blessing to be back here and, and just feel the continual support and love for my parents who just, um, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. Yeah, so I'm really grateful to you guys and all the friends, the community, the support. I'm so grateful to Jai Lakshmi for our ongoing journey and, and sharing all this all this beautiful stuff. So to to more and um Oh and a special thanks to Ananda for <laughs> his journey tonight with the the technology. Oh my goodness. I was cursing. <laughs> You know, I get to the point where you get really stressed and then and there's the F bomb that are just flying. You're like, Wow, I'm really I must be stressed. They're just, it's, it's hitting that point. I knew he could do it, though. I knew it. And you did. We were, we were at point, you know, it was like, I kept watching the hours, like, okay, an hour left, 30 minutes left. Damn it. The audio is still not working. Oh, no, the video is not working. Anyways, so I had my own little saga, and I overcame, and we did this, so I'm so happy, and that's, and it's so symbolic that we just, you know, even if the toughest is, oh, frustrating, annoying, or difficult, challenging, and push through, keep pushing, you know, keep going. 
don't don't give up just you know maybe it's a, a breather moment and he just <laughs> okay, I can use some help now, you know, just call it in and receive a little guidance, a little help from the celestials or from your community of friends or family. And uh, Trust. And trust. trust, yes. It doesn't work out. You just trust. have to be tested. We have to be tested. That is how we grow. Um, last but not least, we have a um, few events these days. We're going to try to keep doing these at least once a month, these live streams. Um, stay tuned also because we're going to try to do some yoga classes online here real soon. Um, so we'd like to really share with you um, these new Sattva yoga practices that we've been just trained upon and are just absolutely loving. So for those of you who are um, into like a previous, it's kind of like a kundalini yoga fusion meets um, like a free flow of asana and breath work and, and meditations that are just so, so beautiful profound transformative so we'll let you know about that and, um, and if you're in ashland i'm teaching it every wednesday the next three wednesdays oh, yeah, actually you know. in person yeah. so wherever if you're in the area come come join me every yeah. wednesday morning at 10 10 12 so it's at the dance space the dance studio yeah, yeah. and um last but not least you know we have a couple we're um Basically, because we're not doing touring and we still want to spend time with people in smaller groups and um, put as safe containers as possible, we're doing these retreats. And we have uh, one here at the end of the month. We're going to be doing rafting. So we'll be all outdoors and just have an amazing time rafting during the day in the mornings and in the afternoons after we're done rafting. We're in the morning, we'll do some yoga. Afternoon, we'll do some workshops and all the foods provided, all the camping and everything is all just set up for us and broken down for us. It's like the posh luxury rafting trip here in Southern Oregon and the beautiful wild and scenic Rogue River. So that is coming up July 31st and it's three days. So if that's interesting, we have a few more spots for that. And then we have, um, in September, we're doing a retreat in Lake Tahoe. And again, this is a five day retreat. And we're going to be doing um, yoga every morning. We're going to be going hikes, going the hopefully get some warm weather at the end of the summer, and go swimming, and just spend time in community, nourish, be you know nourished by amazing food, and of course we'll serenade you every night and the music, and um, and then we just also uh, launched a Sedona retreat again in November. So we're excited to go back to Sedona. And the last one we just did was so incredible that we're just like, yes, let's do that again. So you can look that up on our website in November. Um, we're going to be doing a retreat. And our Hawaii retreats are supposedly still on too in January and February. Um, and with that said, I know that there's a lot of questions and concerns about the whole COVID thing and, and the precautions. And um, honestly, we're you know, as all of us are in new territory. So we are totally open to suggestions. We're open to your ideas and how to keep safe and, um, and still be in community and connection. So please, if you're interested in joining us, we're keeping it to smaller groups, 15 or less. And, um, you know, basically just, um, a time to really connect with community, with, with devotional and spiritual practices to help us uplift, to recharge, to reset, and thrive. Um, so again, if you're interested and you're, you know, you just say yes, then please come. And if you have questions or concerns and you would like to come, send us a message and let's discuss and see what we can make possible for for those of you who want to, you know, who want to join and just be in in five days of of blissful blissful community and yoga practices and spiritual chanting and, and glorious mother nature because that's a huge part of what we do this for us we want to be in amazing places in mother nature because that's like the ultimate nourishment so um yeah so check out our website check out those upcoming retreats and again if you have questions just send us a little message and we will be letting you know about when the next live stream concert is and um and upcoming yoga classes so have an amazing night or day depending on where you're watching this from or what time you're watching this from and we we really wish you all the best and and wish you all the just the most love and trust in these times of so much uncertainty that that you just lean into trusting that the universe has a great plan here 
and that don't you don't need to lean into the fear don't lean into the conspiracy theories they may be true they may be not you know ultimately so what we have to just sink into is is the trust and the love of the universe and then just do our best do our best best individually and just keep watching our thoughts watching our actions on um, on how we can just keep loving and staying uplifted and healthy and healthy yes immune system is most important thing to keep healthy <laughs> all right everybody blessings and namaste, namaste. Satnam, and uh, we just hope and wish all the best for you all blessings love jai ma